But you are, you're, you're kind of tough. You're tough on, on what needs to be done. We need to get I back believe, to work. I believe that the system is based on getting in, earning your stripes, showing what you can do, getting compensated for it, because That's the market, fine. this is a market show, correct? The market sets wages. The market is based on, is there a unique skill set? When you have record low unemployment, it's a different situation, and now we have inflation. And so what we've got is a real problem here. In a, in, a, in a true democracy like this, what ends up happening with the layman, with the average worker, is they credit the government and the politician when things are good, and the average worker blames the corporate America when things are bad. And so now we've got inflation going up. So wages are going up, and people are saying, kudos to the administration and the politicians for getting our wages up. And then they're saying, well, now there's inflation, well, that's bad because corporate America and the markets are doing that. And, and neither, neither are right. And that's the real challenge we face as leaders. Remember this, there's only 500 CEOs that we're talking about the average. When we do the employee uh, wage gains, we're talking about millions of people. If millions of people had a 14.5% increase in their wages, you want to see inflation, this country would be gonzo right now. Well, I just wonder what, for society, I wonder what, what the best thing is, Tom, because one of the things that we haven't seen in, in decades is wage price spiraling. And this, we, have the, uh, we have the beginnings of that, potentially, because prices are up so much that people are going to be demanding wage increases. And then it starts feeding on itself and margins get squeezed and then companies think, well, now we need to raise prices to, to help margins because we're paying our employees more. And then it, it just is yeah. this vicious cycle that's that we're heading what, into that what's right for society is 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 wage great wage growth over time so what we saw is that the that hourly unemployment right the, the seven and a half seven dollars and fifty cent unemployment was way too low and so you really had a, a, a real unemployment a real uh, minimum wage it was probably about nine to ten dollars an hour in actuality and that was still too low and then it went from people making ten dollars to people making seventeen or eighteen dollars overnight and you didn't have an interest rate rise. And that's why we had the problem. The wages just grew too fast. Now, before I get all the hate messages, they were way too low for way too long. But to go from 10 to 15, 10 to 18 in, in two years is, is really crazy and hard on an economy. And that's where you have the challenges that we're facing right now. And then you have inflation going up. And so the employees don't want to give up the money that they've earned, and, and nor should they. Who wants to? But simultaneously, it doesn't go any further than it did before when inflation's up like this. Hey, Tom, that, that's um, all good and well, theoretically. And, and you can talk about those things. But the reality is every CEO I know is having trouble finding employees. It's not just CEOs. It's restaurants. It's uh, retail sales, any of these places. If you don't pay up, you're not going to be able to find the workers. So you can sit around and think it's not good for me to increase pay, but if you don't do it, you are not going to be able to service your customers. And, and, and well, that's the, just the reality the, of it. You're 100 percent right, Becky. The problem is it's almost right now, no matter how much you pay, you can't get the workers. And now we've got this challenge because we're almost at full unemployment. I mean, unemployment used to be 40 years ago, 30 years ago, two and a half percent was full unemployment. That number is probably closer to three percent now. And so that's really the confluence of events that you have is you can keep paying, but you're not going to get people to do it. And then when you do it there, you guys were talking earlier in the show, Andrew was saying how at Starbucks, where workers are, are wanting more, it's hard to manage your employees' expectations because people are throwing money at them left and right, whether it's big tech or Fortune 500. So it's really hard on the small to medium-sized company. And then when you have the rate increase, it's almost impossible. And that's the challenge that we're facing. Not that people don't want to pay people or that people don't want to work. It's that there is a labor shortage in this country.